that is what we would call a monster. That is a very, 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 very big snake. Oh, wow. Howdy, everyone. We're back in the swamp, removing more invasive Burmese pythons from the Florida Everglades. Pythons are not native to the area and eat just about anything they can fit in their mouths, even alligators. In this video, we had a pretty epic night of python surveying. Thank you all for watching, and we hope you enjoy the video. Yeah! Yay! Oh my god, we've been skunked for like five surveys in a row. It felt nice. Kyle's guy. <laughs> it's getting a little colder out, so we knew we needed to go somewhere where we could see the water. And that's exactly what the snake was doing, swimming through the water. Because right now that water is a little bit warmer than the air. So this guy was just cruising through there. Let's see, you boy or a girl? Big boy. Probably moving for breeding season. It's about to start. There we go. You sick. Yeah. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> just, just scooting and booting along. Yes. Huge, 11 foot. Okay. Who wants it? Oh, can someone get it now? Go get it, go get it, Blake. Get him. There you go. <laughs> Not as big as I thought, it's just freaking fat, man. There we go. Is that a girl? Um, yeah, that's a girl. Yeah. I bet she would have bred this year. Dude, sweet. Nice. nice, man. Out in the open. Oh, is Blake going to get snipped? <laughs> no. Is he going to get a little nip? Oh, good. good maneuvers there, dude. Number two of the night. That is awesome to see. So this is a pretty young female snake. We could say probably about four or five years old, maybe. Pushing close to 10 feet, probably nine feet. Very large though for its age and they can actually breed at this age. I bet you she would have, but very crazy that this snake's not very old. Could already breed. Nice to get out of here. Another one out the glades, baby. <laughs> awesome, Blake. Awesome, head. Meg. Yeah. So it is the beginning of the python breeding season right now and they're getting a bit sloppy with their movements. They are focused on other things. We take advantage of the sloppiness and pick off more of the breeding size snakes. Hi, bud. Oh. Yeah, stick your finger in front of yeah, them. Yeah, put them in front. Hi. Oh. Fun fact Meg used to be scared of moths. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way he's shaking. Ah. <laughs> Oh, Take him. <laughs> oh, frack. Be ready to help him. Yeah. Wait, your butt off. Or I'll drop it if anything. Oh, frack. They're solo. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. Dude, no. Nice. Let's go! Yeah. Yes! All right, I'm about to tie her out down here. All right, actually, I will take your help moving around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah! I had a feeling a big one was coming. Just... Holy sh guys. <laughs> I got it right here. <laughs> what a big girl. <laughs> and she's not done fighting. Oh no. Oh, man. No, she's not. Now this is, oh, what about 14, 15 feet? Big gravid girl. She's probably got tiny little leg follicles in her, but for the next few months, they would have grown. And she would have nested woo, near the end of May, early June. But right now, she was just moving to her breeding grounds, loaded up with anger. Oh, man. Oh, my god. This goodness. is fair. Three giant monkeys just jumped around the swamp. <laughs> I would be upset, too. So, no. Oh. Three? Three a night? Three tonight. We knew we were due for at least one more. Oh, this is quite a night. <laughs> This is sick! Pretty out of breath from that. Still battling her quite a bit right now. But I'm thinking, really wanted to solo a big snake out here. And um, I think the mistake that I just made when I was trying to do that was try to run her up the levee alone while she was still angry. 
<laughs> if I were to do this again, I would jump on her head like I did and then sit my body here to prevent her from coiling me or let her coil other parts. Tie her out at the bottom of the levee and then we'll move her up there. But right now, she's not letting us go up there. She coiled the absolute crap out of my legs. If you saw that, I was tripping over her. Man, these snakes are intelligent. They put up such a crazy fight. And uh, big, big win for the environment, man. This is a big snake. I bet she ate quite a few alligators. <laughs> alligators, deer, and anything she could fit in her mouth to get this big. <laughs> oh yeah. Not what done. What a snake. What a snake. That is not a bite that we want. Usually, python bites, not too big of a deal. A little blood, whatever. This means probably stitches. And if it hits an artery, bad news. Very bad, very bad. No, 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 no. Bad news bears. See, I'm holding with my leg right here. Those front coils, that's what she'll use to wrap your arm around her head until you're forced to let go. Sorry, I'm gonna see you. prioritizing right not letting this front part wrap me. The back half, I got a Blake. <laughs> it's great. She's so strong, it's so impressive. This is insanely strong. I haven't, I haven't uh, wrestled with a big one in a while. I bet Duff's jealous. Kyle, I kept saying, they're just gonna keep getting bigger. Maybe they're just gonna keep getting bigger. We just slowly got bigger and bigger tonight. <laughs> Nine, 10, 15. All right, a little bit. I would jump on that last one. <laughs> this is insane. Little by little, inch by inch, she's working her way up to try to coil herself up there around him. And it's so subtle. You could see it now when you really pay attention, but she wants him to not be paying attention so she could just subtly throw her coils over him. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, it was a workout being the back end load management. I mean, honestly, when it's not like hissing at us and stuff, like that is a really, really cute snake, in my opinion. I think they have very adorable faces. Mm -hmm. oh. It's been over 25 minutes of us wrestling with this big girl, and she still got fight. She was found off the side of this Delevy. Just an amazing spot by Kyle, out in the open. Real hard one. <laughs> Just a softball. <laughs> a beautiful one to get out. Very important one to get out of the Everglades. Absolutely massive. Yeah, and we'll uh, show you what the bottom side of the snake looks like when she's done fighting. On her bottom scales, you can see these rips in there from when she stretched from eating some massive meal earlier this year. I would assume alligator based off the habitat and how big this snake is, but she had some huge meal that made her this big earlier this year. Pretty crazy. The reason we're positioned on her, kind of funky, you know, my leg and him kind of lying on her is because we're trying to prevent these coils from wrapping around us. That's how we're keeping her That's how you control. get bit. We don't want to get bit. We <laughs> so, so badly don't want to get bit. Check out what's the little tears in the belly scales we were talking about. You see that line going in the middle of them? So that's from when she had a giant meal and had to stretch her scales out to fit it into her stomach. It is insane what these snakes are capable of basically i don't think any other creature could catch an animal like this no and, and she would she would just get away i mean she's been putting up a fight for so long now yeah she's coiling me again there's a reason we're out here doing this this is an apex predator it does not belong and the only other predator that would take it out out here is us <laughs> the team that's what we're here for. What a big tail. Giant tail, dude. What I'm telling you, the size of your digits. Like oh, your yeah. Fingers, I, your thumbs. The tip of my finger. Oh, my God. It's insane. That's a huge tail. What a uh, big girl. That's like three megs in length. <laughs> right, how many golden go. retrievers? How many golden retrievers? Four. I'm going to go with four. Four, yeah. four, wow. four golden retrievers in length. <laughs> four GRs on this baby. <laughs> <laughs> By taking these breeding size pythons out of the ecosystem, we are preventing them from reproducing and furthering the invasion. We love snakes, including pythons. 
but we understand that having pythons in Florida is simply unsustainable for the ecosystem. For each one removed, we are saving dozens if not hundreds of native wildlife, especially when we get the reproductive ones out. The reason we do this is because we love the unique native wildlife that exists in the Everglades. This ecosystem is so special and so precious, and all of the wildlife deserves to be protected from these invasive predators. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Your support helps keep us motivated to keep doing what we're doing. Thanks, y'all. This is sick! <laughs>